Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is, <laughs> is my microphone uh, sticking in my face. Feels a little bit close. But uh, this is daily hypnosis number two, 2018. Or uh, basically, the first one I did yesterday, the sound wasn't loud enough, I don't think. And it was easier just to do it with the, uh, the microphone plugged into the iPhone. That's the easy way for me to do it, but I'm gonna have to do it this way which involves editing and recording the audio separate to the video and all that. Um, there probably is a way that I could do it without the microphone being up my nose, but it's all right. There you go. So these are daily hypnosis sessions. The whole point of them really is to do a different session, a different video every day and to build upon the previous one even though I won't necessarily be going back to what I said previously but more in a vague uh, overall sense it's a very vague description I know I wonder how many more times I can say the word vague during this recording I feel like I want to scratch my nose, but I don't want to bash the microphone. So I'm just going to move the microphone a little bit over there. I wonder... Hopefully, the sound should be good. And I'm using a Rode microphone, which means it should mainly pick up my voice as opposed to other background sounds, hopefully. But anyway, I've got an itchy nose for some reason. So, as I said yesterday, please only watch or listen to these sessions when you can safely close your eyes. Because... It's just... The safest way to do it. It's the safest. It's the only way I can uh, cover kind of every situation possible in my mind, anyway. So I'm just going to talk, and the more of these sessions I do, the less I'll probably mention about what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, and I just kind of get on with it. But I know that some people. Uh, prefer to just listen and, and not have any kind of introduction or any lead up or any you know dialogue like that but I will be talking throughout and that's what these are so there isn't a case of really me talking and then now let's do this session there is but there isn't you know it's a uh, a mixed slow uh, transition maybe not even noticeable even to me maybe yesterday I talked about safety and it's a very important thing other than of course, making sure that you're comfortable when you're listening to this recording. Making sure that you're... Well, say you can be lying down on a bed, you can be lying on a flat surface, you could be sitting in a chair. But I've had a couple of people say to me in the past, someone recently, that they fell asleep and nearly slipped out of their chair. So... It's a good idea to try and sit in a chair which supports your body. Um, so don't be sitting on a stool or 
you know, don't balance on a seesaw or, you know, that kind of thing. Just try and get yourself so that you can, you, it's one less thing to think about, which is always a good thing in my mind. So, I just realised I've got this black top on and I've just been eating some tea cakes so hopefully I haven't, I've got a tendency of getting crumbs everywhere. That's one of the things I've noticed living on my own for so long. I, I caught myself a couple of years back, I remember I caught myself eating with my mouth open, like really. And I didn't realise I was doing it because I, you know, I was raised to, you know, keep my mouth closed on a meeting, and so I'm quite a messy eater these days when I'm on my own. I think I'm a bit tidier when I'm around people, I'm not quite as messy when I'm in public. But. Uh, Christmas is here soon. I think today is the 27th, I think, of September. So, 27th, so about three, four more days time and my telephone will get boosted so I'll have some credit on my telephone so I'll be able to make phone calls again. That'll be nice. And we're heading towards Halloween, then depending on what part of the world you live in, and there's different celebrations, different religious festivals during the end of the year, but this side of the Atlantic and in my my kind of life, my uh, there's, what have we got, Halloween, Guy Fawkes, so you don't have, you only have really Guy Fawkes in England. Uh, it's not a religious festival, but it's, uh, it's, but anyway, you can go on, you can Google it, you can see what it is, but uh, that's, I think, November the 5th. And then we have Christmas. So in England, we don't have Thanksgiving. But I know in America, and maybe, I don't know, it can, Canada. Canada. Do you have Thanksgiving in Canada? Because um, technically Canada is North. Is it North America? Or South America is not Japan. <laughs> Mexico and stuff like that. So that's South America. So Canada is still Still the same continent, isn't it? Still the same piece of land. But I don't know whether you celebrate, whether Canada celebrates Thanksgiving. But I know America does. But I kind of think it'd be lovely if we did here. Because Thanksgiving is, in some ways, as a, a non-religious festival, it can be celebrated by everybody of any religious sway because it is just that it's giving thanks for what we have so maybe that's going to be the topic of today's thing uh, I've only ever seen Thanksgiving on television you know in movies and television shows and um, I think it'd be quite it'd be quite nice to have that here maybe so maybe we shall have it here right here right now and I want to thank everybody as well yeah I want my thanks is to thank I'm feeling quite thankful today grateful because Last night, I wasn't feeling very well. And then I called upon a friend to uh, 
just to give me a little bit of support, you know, just to sort of spend a bit, a little bit of time with him, uh, just an hour or so, and then I felt a bit better, and then I made a recording, made a video, and I felt a lot better after I made the recording. And it reminded me that making these videos is more than not just the videos, the recordings, the audios, uh, whatever I'm doing. I know I'm doing kind of both at the same time here. But it is the most important thing in my life. And I get so much out of it. And I started to forget because I hadn't made a, a video, a proper video, for quite a while. I've been focusing more on just the audio side of things. And I've had quite a few people ask me, will I make videos? When am I going to do another video? And you know, why don't I make videos anymore? And I suppose part of it is... I don't know, maybe I just, there's something about if you make videos, if you, I've kind of watched myself age over the last 12 years, 12 and a half years, making videos online on YouTube and uh, Facebook and all the different places that, you know, videos can be. And it's just quite strange to look back at some of the old ones and 12 years ago, it's, I looked... I suppose I look pretty much the same, but I wasn't wearing glasses. I, I look so I look younger because I was young. And I just wonder if I'm still doing this in 20 years time. I'll be grey, maybe bald, I don't know. I'll, you know, I'll have a redder face than I've got already. I'll maybe have a full grey beard. Um, you know, it's going to be my glasses, I suppose, will be thicker than they are now because my eyesight will have possibly deteriorated by then just with age because I'll be 68 by then because I'm 48 now and it's just it's a weird, weird thing but I've kind of gone off point a little bit but being thankful, I'm thankful that I've had the opportunity to be able to make all those videos. And although on my YouTube channel there's only a handful of videos on there, there are over 400 available to download on my website, jasonnewland.com, and hundreds and six, seven hundred MP3s that you can download free on my website as well. So, in case you were wondering, like. I spent 12 years and I only did four videos in 12 years. No, I've done quite a few. So I'm thinking, what am I thankful for? It's a bit, it's a spread out thankfulness. I'm thankful, I feel thankful, or I, I feel um, grateful. For my friend, I feel grateful for actually three friends. I've had contact with three friends this week. Two in person and one on the phone. All close friends that I've known for quite a while. And that care about me. And I care about them and that's nice. It's also... Being able to make these videos, being able to make these recordings, uh, hearing about how helpful and useful my work has been to people. So I'm thankful to have found something that I'm able to do, even if it is just talking about nothing sometimes. Because I know that there are people 
out in the world who maybe the only voice they hear is mine in a day. They might not hear, they might not see anybody for days at a time, maybe even weeks at a time. And they might just hear my voice. They might watch other videos as well, but it just, you know, I might, because these are quite personal, personalized, and I am talking to you wherever you are in the world. And because it's not entertainment as such, it can, I don't know, you feel less alone. And in a way, I feel less alone by making these videos and reaching you, reaching out to you. And I do, do realise that it's, it could seem maybe on some level, or maybe a, lots of levels, it's just one way traffic. It's just me just talking into a camera. But there's more going on there because there's the emotions my side, there's the, the reactions, emotions your side. And there's that that building up of momentum over the years. Some some of people, some of you would have been watching me for over a decade. Other people might have been watching me or listening to me for a few weeks, a few months, a few years, maybe a few days. Maybe this is the second time or first time you've ever listened to me or heard me or watched me. The first of many, possibly. And I just think it's uh, it's a blessing. It's a real, quite an amazing thing to have the opportunity to do this when 30 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, it wasn't available really to do. I mean, 20 years ago, the internet was only really just starting. And you couldn't make videos like this, couldn't stream videos as easily until YouTube came along. It was, wasn't was easy at all to stream videos uh, in this way. So I'm grateful for that, I'm thankful thankful to be able to help people in my own little way and at the same time help myself because I do truly believe that you can to help other people is the best way to help yourself by helping others even if it's just intention sometimes it feels like I can just be sitting or lay, laying down in bed imagining that I've won the lottery and sometimes I do this not all the time but every now and then I lie down and I'll just imagine that I've won 10 million pounds on the lottery and I just imagine all the different things the different people I could help with that money giving some of the money away to members of my family, friends, but then helping other people. And being able to put money into this, to this uh, online work that I do, to reach a larger audience. And I just, it feels good because I know it's fantasy. It's just imagination, but that's what hypnosis is. It's just imagination. It's just thoughts, thinking about stuff, imagining something and then experiencing a feeling. And then your brain maybe likes that feeling 
connected to that image in your mind or that sentence that maybe you say to yourself. Maybe that sentence is, I deserve to be happy. If you say that to yourself now, I deserve to be happy. And notice how that feels within your body. I can feel it, a sensation in my chest and also in my shoulders, down my back. I can feel it even in my, in my jaw. It's just a gentle feeling, it's quite cool, quite a, it's almost like being stroked, like gently stroked. And it's a pleasant feeling. There's a lightness there. And sometimes it's those feelings that you can have. The feeling might not be immensely strong. But when you're focusing on that feeling, you're not focusing on other feelings, which then changes your brain chemistry, changes the neurology, changes how you feel generally changes how your body feels, you know, sense of relaxation and calmness and a feeling of well-being it can just be there, can arise just with a sentence like, I deserve to be happy. And I wonder what a sentence, something that you're thankful for, by saying that to yourself. And you don't have to say it out loud verbally, but if you say it to yourself, of course, if you want to say it out loud, you can do that as well. You're in charge, you're the boss. You can do whatever you want to do. And think about something that you're thankful for. Something that you can show or verbalize. So I could say, for example, I'm thankful for hypnosis. Or I'm thankful for being able to do this, you know, make these videos. Or, uh, or I could say I'm thankful for Andre, for having Andre in my life. And he's, Andre's my boy, he's my, my ferret. I was thinking about that earlier, I should really... I don't like keep mentioning that he's a ferret because it seems a bit uh, like repetitive to keep mentioning that but I know that new people that haven't seen me or listened to me before will be watching this or listening to this and I don't want people to think that when they say he's my son that he's actually you know like a a little human because when I say that I I put Andre in his cage at night put him in a cage at night overnight that sounds a bit wrong unless you know that he's a ferret 
or that I feed him cat food. You, you see where I'm going with this? It's so, but I'm so grateful and thankful to have him in my life because I think he's taught me uh, how a way of loving. I would say unconditionally. Maybe I've only really had that before, once before, but maybe, I don't know, this, this is, because I have to clean up after him, I have to, there's you know, all the responsibility with, that anyone has I guess, if someone's got a dog or a cat, you know, there's, there's a responsibility there, and he's doing his own thing, and he's not, he's not concerned about what I'm doing. So there's a, he's increased my level of patience, or um, just accepting that's how things are and that's what he does without getting angry or you know resentful so that's a few different things I'm thankful for so if you can, if you can think of something it doesn't have to be a big massive thing that you're thankful for it can be something um, just generally it can be something maybe that you're thankful for that happened today and I'd just like you to just say the words to yourself I'm thankful for and then whatever it is. And then when you said that, notice how you feel. Notice sensations in your body changing. Notice the feeling in your in your mind and the level of relaxation. And calmness. And I realise that I'm talking and I haven't given you the space or the time to actually say this thing that you're thankful for because I've continued to talk. So I'm just going to keep quiet for. Should we say twenty seconds? Now So that's 20 seconds gone. How did it feel? How does it feel? Being in that moment. What's the response or the reaction physically to saying those words? For verbalizing what it is that you're thankful for in this moment. And I'll keep quiet for another 20 seconds while you focus on the feelings. I'm back. 
20 seconds goes quite quickly, doesn't it? So I wonder what that felt like for you. Maybe you'd like to try it with a different thing that you are thankful for. Something else that you're feeling thankful for. And I'm going to keep quiet for a whole minute. I'm just going to give you that time to think about something that you're thankful for. To say inside your mind or outside verbally if you, if you choose. By outside I don't mean opening the window and shouting out. I mean, you know, externally saying it, or you can say it inside your mind. And then notice how you feel. Notice, you know, the levels of pleasure and the relaxation and calmness that you feel. So I'm going to keep quiet for a minute now. Now, how did that feel for you? What physical feelings did you experience? And what emotions did you experience? And there are no right or wrong answers. It's just all about your experience. You feel whatever it is you feel. It just is what it is. And I realized that today is not Thanksgiving. Unless, of course, you're listening to this at the end of November or whatever date Thanksgiving is. Then it is Thanksgiving. But just makes me think of the that line in out of one of the Christmas songs, I wish every day could be Christmas. But imagine if every day was Thanksgiving Day. Not with all the festival part of it and eating more than you should perhaps eat in a, a normal day. But just the feeling, the 
being thankful. To maybe every day wake up and think of something that you feel thankful, something you feel grateful for. It's a nice little start to the day. Perhaps you can think of something in the evening as you're getting ready to go to sleep. Something that you feel grateful for. Something to give thanks for. It might just be as simple as feeling thanks for having a comfortable bed. Feeling thanks for being able to drift off into a deep healing sleep naturally. So it turns into something more than just being thankful it also becomes a suggestion, a self-suggestion to yourself, reinforcing that belief in yourself that you will sleep comfortably and soundly, that your body and mind will heal during that time that you are asleep so that you wake up feeling rested, calm and relaxed, with enthusiasm towards the day ahead. And that's what these daily hypnosis sessions are all about. It's about all of that. It's about feeling good. It's about feeling healthy and relaxed when you need to be relaxed. To be able to be productive when it's necessary, to be alert when required. And to notice more of the things that you enjoy doing and to maybe do more of those things. also to realize that actually sometimes just thinking of certain things, maybe people, maybe memories, specific thoughts and ideas can be a nice little trigger for you to have those and re-experience those feelings of pleasure physically and emotionally spreading through your body and your mind. And each day those feelings of gratitude and thankfulness and just generally feelings of well-being grow. And you can spend more time enjoying being you.
that brings me to the end of this daily hypnosis and I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Jason Newland. Visit my website jasonnewland.com to gain access to all of my hundreds and hundreds of mp3s and video downloads. Lots of love. Bye.